All right, so um, now we've connected our low pass and our high pass filters together to form a band pass filter. Um, and as you can see here, it is on the board. Uh, this is the low pass and this is the high pass cascaded together. So if you look at our uh, frequency sweep, you can see that they form a band where they basically pass the signals through. Uh, and then on the sides, they attenuate the signals. Um, <clears throat> so to find uh, the basically like the limits of this band, we looked at the minus 3 dB frequencies um, on either side of it, and we found them to be at about uh, 18.114 kilohertz and 20.347 hertz. Uh, and so if you look at the phase uh, graph, you can see that on the lower end of the spectrum, we have um, about 100, uh, 100 degrees phase shift, and then as you get towards the band that's actually being passed, uh, the phase shift goes to zero, which is consistent with the, amp with the uh, filter being non-inverting. And then towards the end, the phase starts to, they start to get out of phase again.